So cybersecurity jobs are in extremely high demand, but breaking into the industry isn't as easy as most people think. AI, more competition, and higher barriers of entry are making it more and more difficult for people to land their first jobs in cybersecurity in 2025. In this video, I'll break down the current state of the cybersecurity job market, including what's changing my thoughts and how to actually get hired in this job market. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ben, and I make videos like this one every single week, so make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and join the family and also if you find value in this video please go ahead and drop me a like it helps out my channel a lot with that said let's go ahead and get right into the video so first let's talk about the current reality of the cybersecurity job market the first point is going to be there's more competition right now than ever before cybersecurity used to be a pretty niche field but because of the high salaries and the high demand more and more people are looking to land their first jobs in cybersecurity IT professionals programmers and coders new graduates and also people who are making a career change are all pivoting towards cybersecurity and making the competition levels even higher. Employers now have so many people to choose from, making it even harder for beginners to stand out. The second problem with the current job market is the fact that a lot of entry level jobs aren't even entry level. Many junior level cybersecurity jobs now require multiple years of professional experience, advanced level certifications, and hands-on skills. So because companies have so many different candidates to choose from with different levels of experience, they're obviously gonna go with the people who have more experience already rather than having to train someone from scratch. And number three is going to be AI and automation is changing the cybersecurity industry. The reality is AI is going to be automating different security tasks, therefore reducing the amounts of entry-level cybersecurity roles. However, AI is also creating new opportunities for those who know how to take advantage of it. So instead of replacing cybersecurity jobs, AI is rather shifting the skill set in which companies are looking for. And understanding how to use AI-driven cybersecurity tools is going to be a huge advantage for you in the current job markets and also in the future. So now that we've talked about some of the main problems with the current job market, let's go over some of the biggest opportunities for you in 2025. Number one is going to be there are several cybersecurity jobs that are going to increase in value and demand in the future and also right now. The first example of this is cloud security. Companies are pivoting towards the cloud to host all of the infrastructure, their data, and their cloud computing, and using platforms like AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. And because of this, they're going to need cloud security professionals to manage and secure their cloud environments. Another example of this is incident response analysts and digital forensics analysts, and also a SOC analyst. As cybersecurity threats are going to increase in the future, they're going to need professionals who are able to identify, respond, and detect cybersecurity attacks. Another role is penetration testing or ethical hacking. Many organizations have their own internal penetration testing team to help identify potential vulnerabilities before actual hackers are able to get to them. This requires an extremely technical skill set, and it's a really valuable skill to have. And last but not least, governance, risk, and compliance, or GRC roles, are also going to be in demand in the future and right now. On top of that, with the introduction of AI, it's going to introduce a bunch of more laws and regulations in place, which is only going to increase in demand. The second opportunity that this job market has to offer is going to be AI. You need to view AI as an advantage, not a threat. Companies are looking for professionals who know how to use AI and leverage it to be even more effective. So one of your goals in the future should be learning how to leverage security tools that also leverage AI and find out how it can make you an even more impactful and effective cybersecurity professional. The third opportunity is going to be freelance work and contract work as an alternative entry point into cybersecurity. If you're someone with a red teaming background or a penetration testing skill set, but you're having a hard time breaking into the cybersecurity industry, in this case, one of the best ways to find opportunity is through bug bounties and contract work. Bug bounty programs like HackerOne and BugCrowd are great platforms to start getting experience and land your first opportunity in cybersecurity. Security. Now let's go ahead and talk about how you can stand out and get hired in this current job market. So the key to this is combining the right training, hands-on experience, and structured learning to build real-world skills that employers actually want. I've done some research and came across Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity. 
After checking it out, I think it could be a game changer for anyone serious about breaking into cybersecurity. Simply Learn is a premier online platform that offers a wide array of boot camps and courses to empower individuals on their career journeys. The postgraduate program offers engaging features throughout their curriculum, including video lectures, interactive components, and tools, giving you the hands-on experience to develop your knowledge and your resume. Simply Learn also offers financing options, and the career growth is substantial, with numerous individuals transforming their careers through Simply Learn. Additionally, Simply Learn is ranked as the world's number one online bootcamp by SwitchUp, Course Report, and Trustpilot. Simply Learn is also reviewed and recommended by Forbes. They also offer additional courses on cybersecurity and several other specialties in their catalog. The courses are from world-leading universities covering different subjects like data science, project management, business analytics, and more. So visit the link in the description box below or in my pinned comment to try Simply Learn and take the first step towards advancing your career through online education. Hurry because the next cohort starts soon with limited seats available. Thank you to Simply Learn for sponsoring today's video. So the first step to get hired in today's job market is going to be get certified, but also get hands-on experience. Some of the best beginner certificates you can take are the Security Plus and the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. After those certifications, maybe look into some more hands-on and more advanced level certifications like the Blue Team Level 1, the OSCP, or the CYSA from CompTIA. It really depends on what route you want to take and what kind of career you want to have in cybersecurity. On top of that, some of the best platforms to get hands-on experience is going to be Try Hack Me and Hack the Box. And while you're building your skill set, getting certifications, also consider building your own home labs and personal projects. Personal projects are a great way for you to get some hands-on experience and it's completely free. You can also add them to your resume and explain exactly what you did and what you accomplished. And it shows that you have hands-on experience and also you're taking initiative of your developments and learning. Number two is gain real world experience while applying for these jobs. So this is exactly what I said before, start building your own personal projects and virtual labs. There's so many different types of personal projects you can do out there, but really what you want to do is focus on what kind of role in cybersecurity you want, and then from there, do some research on what kind of projects you can do, for example, as a SOC analyst. You can also join different CTF competitions or open source security projects. Step number three is going to be network and build connections. And one of the best ways to do this is being active on LinkedIn, on Twitter, and cybersecurity forums. So whenever you get a chance, make sure to take advantage of different cybersecurity events, whether it's a conference, a virtual conference, a networking event, things of that sort. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there and market yourself. Number four is stay updated and continue learning. Make sure to follow different cybersecurity news platforms and newsletters to stay up to date on different types of attacks and the current state of cybersecurity. And continue learning, continue developing your skills, continue getting certifications, continue learning different new cybersecurity tools. And I guarantee you when you build this habit and mindset of continuously learning, Learning, you'll thrive in cybersecurity and eventually land your first full-time job in cybersecurity. So overall, the cybersecurity job market is extremely competitive, but it also offers so many opportunities for those people who are looking to adapt. AI is continuing to reshape the field, but those who are willing to leverage AI and learn how to use it are going to thrive. Focus on getting hands-on experience, networking, and continuously learning, and you'll land your first job in cybersecurity. With that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, Video and found it valuable, please go ahead and drop me a like for the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe as I make a video like this one every single week. And also, if you want some more lifestyle content and short form content, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Cyber with Ben. With that being said, though, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in next week's video. Peace.